How much does it cost to build a kit car? Our kits are based off of um, a steel two-frame chassis, which is going to be about twelve to 14,000 Canadian. Uh, body, which we're still sorting out the details, is probably going to be about 14,000 Canadian. Uh, the windshield, front windshield, is fairly expensive because it's safety glass. And it's about $4,000, $5,000 each. And we're also going to be selling some electronics, so wiring, harness, and lights and horn and switches and everything that you need to make it road legal. So the the total cost you can pick and choose on the website different features between 36 and 39,000 Canadian. Um, there are a lot of other kit car companies that sell fairly similar products. So there's Factory 5 which has the GTM. The GTM is about 10 years old now but it's the same uh, chassis, body, glass, the same platform. The cost to build our prototype, the one that we're working on here, is about 40,000 for the base kit, probably 50,000 in parts, so that's things like the rims, tires, brakes, suspension, um, wiring, power plant, power plant, which is the engine, adapter, transaxle, uh, half shafts, and um, a lot of the connecting lines, fuel tanks, and, and fittings are all fairly expensive. So it adds up, I'd say uh, the power plant is probably, if you're using an LS, uh, V8 with a Porsche transaxle, probably about 25,000 Canadian. There's, uh, you can buy used uh, engines from a salvage shop, but you'll probably need to um, check them out and inspect them. If you put a car together with a used engine and uh, it needs service sooner, then you're going to have to take off all the body panels, pull the engine, remove the transmission, remove the clutch, and all of that service and time is is basically you're just paying later for um, what you can get in a crate motor uh, from Chevy. Some of the other kit cars available that would be comparable is the SLC. So they sell kits for 51,000 US completed. I've seen selling for 75,000 US, which is about 100,000 Canadian. So this is pretty much comparable. They're two seat, mid-engine, longitudinally arranged. There's the Ultima RS. I've seen them sell for 120,000 US to 160,000. And uh, there's a British company, DDR, has the GT8, which is based on the Corvette parts, so the control arms and probably the engine too. I can see uh, the kits that they sell are 19,000 US, which is 25,000 Canadian. I've seen GT8s sold for 58,000 which is 76,000 Canadian. Um, Catrum has a 310, which I've seen sell for 37,000 US, 50,000 Canadian. They don't have a cabin, they're kind of more open air. Our kits, we favor the LS. We've got an LS3 from Chevy in this one and a Porsche uh, G8720 from a 2006 Porsche Boxster S. So they're mated with a Kennedy Engineering uh, adapter, which is an aluminum plate, a flywheel flex plate, and everything that you need. They're pretty affordable. I think it's $2,000, and it's been that way for 10, 10 years, as long as I've been working on this. So it's a pretty good deal. And then we had uh, custom half shafts, because the, the transaxles from a Porsche and uh, the hubs in the, the wheels are from a C5 Corvette. So that's two different, two different splines, two different CV uh, joints that you have to merge. So we used a drive shaft shop. And uh, there's a bit of a wait list, but they make really good products. They just fit in perfectly. And I think it was about $2,000 US, so maybe 2,500 Canadian. Really good product. Um, our website, we have a database of um, auxiliary components. So everything that you would need based on the kit. So um, like a list of things that you can buy. Uh, lights, switches, steering wheel, steering column, um, bolts, uh, hose, and fittings, and uh, all of the all of the things that you'll need we just keep a database so that we know that when we buy things that they will all fit together and that there's nothing missed out because oftentimes you can have a need for a piece in order to finish the section you're working on and then have to wait weeks for a part to come in one other thing the cars that we're building are comparable with some OEM vehicles so before building this I was looking at um, 2006 era uh, Ferrari F430 or uh, uh, Lamborghini Gallardo and so 
the prices of those are going up, but they're comparable in the same view, the same power, the same braking capability. The OEM vehicles are going to have a better fit and finish, um, but then also conversely, the more miles that you put on them, <coughs> the more the, uh, the depreciation you'll see. Maintenance is a little bit higher. I was looking at um, an F430 a few years ago and the dealership recommended taking it to a ferry ride to the mainland to get oil service. So that's a, that would be a full day trip, which is kind of inconvenient. Um, and also the Chevrolet C8 Corvette. So the C8 is going to have a better fit and finish. It has um, air and heated seats and all a heads up display and a lot of really nice refined features. Um, so I'm thinking with these kits, uh, about 39000 for the kit, probably 50000 for parts, depending on what you want to spec. Paid, I've hired help for uh, from a mechanic to help wire up the brake lines, clutch lines, lights, and uh, all of the important things just so that when we go for inspection that we're pretty sure that it's going to pass. Um, people ask fairly frequently, can, can they build a kit car for $10,000 or $5,000 or something like that? And the answer is basically no. Um, if you can if you can find used parts, you can save a little bit of money on the purchase. But if you're going to assemble it yourself and not pay somebody to assemble it, then if you've got the skill and the ability to do that, you could be doing that for somebody else and charging market rate. So $100, $100 an hour or $80 an hour, $120, whatever your market is. And so it's an opportunity cost. If you build a car with quality parts, and it's put together properly, and it's inspected and it's on the road, it's gonna have a similar value to some another car with somebody who paid forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for the assembly. One other thing is paint. So if you call a commercial paint shop, they quoted for the body panels $30,000, $40,000 for the paint which seems, seems a bit stiff, but I did manage to find a really good quality painter who has a shop, a private shop, and he was um, in total a lot of finishing work, about $8,000, and the quality was really excellent. So I'll put a link in the description for them if you're in uh, on the island in BC. And um, the rest of the information is on an article on our website, armorautomove.com. We've got a bunch of frequently asked question posts and we'll be adding to it there. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll make new videos and post them here. Thanks.